Welcome back to the Hall of History with our continuing look at the 60s. Well, along with the, uh, the Vietnam War, which was ripping the country apart, the, uh, the Civil Rights Movement, which uh, definitely was having an impact on the country, also going on at this time was called the uh, Countercultural Revolution, or uh, the, ri the rise of the hippies, and uh, or some people call it the psychedelic age at, uh, during this time period. Well, the movement itself began in California, uh, San Francisco, where the uh, the whole idea of these communal lifestyles was accepted, and then the uh, easy availability of drugs. Uh, the famed uh, 1967 Summer of Love originated here, Haight-Ashbury. Uh, very, very uh, interesting time period to, uh, to be growing up in, to say the least. Uh, the hippies were a subcultural youth movement. Uh, it started about the 1960s. Uh, Listen to a, what was called psychedelic rock. Uh, you know, embrace the sexual revolution of the 60s. Our next uh, lecture will be on, uh, on the women's liberation. Uh, they experimented with hallucinogenic drugs. And uh, as you can see from the picture here, the long hair was in style, the vest. Uh, just a very, very uh, interesting uh, time period uh, during uh, our country's history. Psychedelic rock, as you can see here, uh, was just hopefully to... Uh, alter the mind which uh, by these fancy light shows uh, and the music. One band we did talk about in, in class one day briefly was the Grateful Dead and they pretty much epitomized this whole idea of psychedelic rock. There were groups of uh, young people who had just followed the, uh, the band all over the country and all over the world for that for that part and uh, they were called the Deadheads and uh, that was their life just to go to every concert uh, every concert almost ended up being a, a communal uh, area, if you will, and uh, people really uh, just followed them all over. I remember a, uh, a young lady I met in college, and she followed the uh, group for uh, two years. Uh, very, very uh, interesting stories on her part. Uh, Sexual revolution also started in this time frame. Uh, the power of free love. Uh, you can read through uh, what was going on here, and uh, is is really pretty much during this time period anything goes. Uh, marijuana started to take uh, take root during this time. LSD. Uh, the thing on LSD is mind altering, but not addictive, and it was. Interesting note, the, uh, the CIA and other government agencies would uh, experiment with these drugs and uh, to use them as, a, as truth serum. Uh, the, the movies at this time, uh, you had, you had your, uh, your James Bond movies started at this time. You had movies like The Sound of Music. But then you had probably this movie called Easy Rider uh, with Dennis Hopper, Jack Nicholson, and Peter Fonda, and it came out in, uh, at the tail end of the uh, of the 1960s, and it pretty much epitomized what the whole countercultural revolution was about. Uh, this is probably the one more of your iconic pictures from the from this decade, uh, probably maybe from any film. But you have Jack Nicholson on the back there, Peter Fonda in the American helmet, and uh, Dennis Hopper with the Buckskins. Uh, as as a kid back in the uh, late 60s, early 70s, the uh, if you rode a motorcycle, everybody wanted the American helmet uh, to wear on your motorcycle. And uh, uh, they, this was a very very uh, watched movie. And uh, and if you had a motorcycle, you everybody thought you were the were easy rider without a doubt. Uh, this is kind of the beginning of a lot of the a lot of the, the choppers, the extended forks, as you can see on this, uh, where you, people would uh, take the motorcycles and and chop them down, so to speak, and make them uh, very very individualistic. <laughs> uh, what finally ended it? Well, 
as with with many things which goes against the uh, the cultural uh, mainstream pretty much society rejected this as rebels and started to persecute them uh, the DEA started to uh, jump on and started uh, you know the drug enforcement agency started to come in and uh, bust all these people uh, sexually transmitted diseases uh, really started to come to the forefront here uh, the other th thing also a lot of the people that were you know into the countercultural revolutions actually started to get older and uh, unfortunately or I guess however you want to look at it uh, it was not a very good way to make a living at the time and uh, all of these things really contributed to the uh, to the demise of this uh, of this movement but uh, again a very interesting time period you know we're looking at you know the 60s here many many things going on in this country which which really made it very very uh, hard for people to know what was going on during this time period uh, there was just a lot of changes going on and uh, especially when you had the uh, the soldiers coming back from World War II uh, they were looking to you know really for stability and the country was not in a very stable position uh, culturally, culturally at the time here or politically so <clears throat> excuse me there's our uh, our look at this